Hi guys, welcome to day two of RPG A Day 2020. And our cue for today is changes. And as I was trying to think about what I would make for a topic, and I'm rolling kind of different ideas in my head, this played back in my head. Changes. Tupac's changes, not, not David Bowie's. Well, no, you know what? David Bowie's too. And then... So that is a clip of uh, the Extra Credits video channel um, on music and games. This is one of their oldest uh, videos. They make excellent, or they made excellent videos about um, video game stuff, uh, heady stuff, not like game reviews. And, um, and, and that's what I heard, you know, changes, Tupac and David Bowie. Um, and that made me think, uh, and some people have a skill for this. I don't think I have a skill for this. It's probably like a lot of skills it might take some practice and there might be, um, some amount of, uh, just natural skill involved as well. But I highly suggest at some point in your games, you try using scores along with your gaming. Um, I've only done this twice. Um, it was the two sessions of uh, Dragon Age that I ran. So for for the um, for session zero for character creation and stuff like that, I queued up the Dragon Age Origins score off YouTube and uh, you know on the TV YouTube app and just got that playing while people made their characters and it was great. I had multiple people comment on it. Um, there were some. Uh, completely new players there. There's one person who had never played a role-playing game before and one person who I had taken to um, a one-day convention and that was the first time she'd gotten to, to role-play. Um, but even the people who had role-played before, they found it really interesting as well. That was a lot of fun. The next day, that the next time that we got together to just play through the, um, the module, that free module that they have about two uh, kids that have been are missing... Um, I didn't want to play the same music again, so I grabbed, like, um, Skyrim music and a bunch of other fantasy-type stuff, and it wasn't as good, and that included some skipping, um, but it still really added something, and I've, I'll be listening to a score here or a score there, um, usually, I don't want to say generic, but not, like, stuff that comes from a game, right? Um, actually, the last thing that made me think of this was the, uh, string quartet uh, group Bond, B-O-N-D, um, and uh, I'm thinking like, oh, this would be good music for a chase scene, or oh, this would be good music for, uh, and maybe if it was a science fiction game and it was a club scene, or maybe this would be a good music for a boss fight, something, you know, I'm having thoughts like this, because it's, it's all instrumental, and I mean, I'd like to, at some point, put together a little catalog, right, where I have things by tags, right? Like, these are these are good boss fight tracks. These are good generic fantasy tracks. These are good travel tra tracks. Uh, these are good, you know, and maybe this, good, this is travel, but only for sci-fi, whereas these are travel and fantasy, right? And then, for whatever we're doing, I queue up a list. It's, it's, a, it's a boss fight, and it's fantasy. Okay, then I just grab these tracks, or it's... Um, a stealthy section and a stealthy science fiction section. So, you know, I try to grab those tracks and give them priority or something like that, you know, and just play that. I don't know. I have no idea. I know it would take a lot of listening to music and and searching through probably a bunch of crap. <laughs> but it just added so much to the game. I wouldn't say that it added so much that it made playing for those, especially for those newer players, fun when it wouldn't have been fun but it was but it was the cherry on top it was really nice maybe you can hear old nugget down there He's having some fun back time um but i highly suggest get some music in your games try that out um don't be random i mean you, you can be random but don't be too random right like try to try to look listen to some of it beforehand have it cued for what you're planning on doing that night um, or what you expect to happen, you know, and uh, and see how that goes. It could be really distracting for some of your players. That's also possible. But, I mean, it's worth giving it a try. It was a lot of fun. 
Hey, you guys, you know what time it is. It's RPG a day in August. Go ahead and uh, participate. Make anything as large as a blog post or something as small as a Twitter tweet or a Facebook post, or maybe even make some visual or auditory art. Uh, on each day of August, take the topic that's there, free to roam around the grid, and have a response. The response, you we're looking for talking about the hobby of RPGs in a really positive way. It's something that is exciting to others, exciting to you, and maybe generates interest in the hobby. Just ba basically sharing the positiveness of this hobby. All right? Go out there, listen, watch, read, create, participate, comment, like, and hashtag everything with RPG a day. See you later.